Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to repair geometry, how to use the import data doctor. Over here, I have imported one 3D model, and I have recognized that we have a small gaps, and then the system is not able to create the proper geometry. What does it mean? I have to use import data doctor to repair this assembly or model. If you will found any 3D model, on the internet, you can download it as the step file or the SAT file. And if you would like to open it, you can simply drag and drop into Creel. And as you can see, the system recognizes if it is assembly, or you can transfer the data as the one solid model as the part, and then specify if you would like to use the default template, yes or no. And system will import, if you use the template, your custom relations, parameter, and so on. For this example, I have transformed the imported assembly as the solid model, as the part, and now system remember the all colors. But then it's not possible to recognize if it's solid or not. And I can see that I have some weight when maybe it's not okay. What does it mean for imported geometry? My recommendation is that you will go to the view tab and appearance and you will remove all appearances. If you will remove the appearances, the system will show you sometimes two colors, the gray one and the blue one. Blue one means the geometry is corrupted and you have to repair it. And best practice is if you select the imported feature, use the function edit definition, and over here is the function import data doctor. And as you can see, we have a couple of bodies. And if you will use the functionality geometry check, the system will show me where are the issues. The yellow problem geometry you don't need to repair it's a really small gaps and the system is able to apply it you can focus on the problematic geometry as the open problematic geometry yeah so it's an example of what i would like to show you and we would like to repair it and over here is the best practice if you have a model with the more bodies you can select which body you would like to, which would like to use and work. So you can select it and use the function activate. What does it mean right now? If I will select geometry check, the system will really work only with a selected body. And now I can specify it and start to use. If you will see unsatisfied variable frame, please select unsatisfied variable frame, select problem geometry, and system will select all necessary edges, curves, surfaces. And then the system allow to you to use the wireframe or tangency. If the system will show you the tangency, the system recognizes that is the problem with the tangency. You will select it, and then you will select one more time, select problem geometry, and you can use the function repair. And as you can see, the system will repair this problematic geometry. Now, only small particles are state the un unsatisfied, but as mentioned before, the yellow errors you can ignore. If we will go back one more time, yeah, I will select the again, and I will use the unsatisfied geometry and select problem geometry. Now, I don't want to use the tangency and then set the repair because you are able to select repair and immediately there you are able to select repair tangency. So sometimes it is possible to do and make it in one step and the system will repair the geometry. If I will use the functionality deactivate, we can have a look if some more problem geometry is there. So for example, what is here? So also we have a small issue on this geometry or this surface. In this example, I'd like to show you some under the functionality and for example, how to create new curve and then the modify geometry. What does it mean? Over here on this surface, I'd like to make the projection of the curve between two points. If I will select the surface and then in the menu, we have a curved UV curve through points, the system will extend the surface. You are able to select the points with the control button. Yeah, so simple select control button. And then when you confirm OK, the system will create projected curve on the surface. Now we are able to select the functionality trim. The quilt has been selected, so now we have to select trimming object and it will be our new curve. And where is the arrow shown? 
this geometry will be staying, so I will select the opposite direction and confirm OK. Now, as you can see, we have repaired the surface and make the cut here. But also, maybe we would like to continue, so I'd like to activate this one and continue with the selecting problem geometry. So over here, it's much more right now because we have a gap. What does it mean? We have to add geometry, new geometry to the wireframe, and the gap will close all gaps. So we will select right mouse button for the gaps, select problem geometry, use functionality wireframe, the system will merge all unsatisfied wireframe altogether and we will use the functionality. S select problem geometry and now we can try to use the repair, repair tangency and confirm OK. Now the system will show me only the yellow problematic objects. We can skip it. So I will close this one. We will deactivate everything. And if we will check the geometry, all errors will be only the yellow, the small gaps are here. Yes, of course, you are able to select problem geometry, same logic, select problem geometry, and then continue with moving. I will show you the another example into a new tutorial. So in this video tutorial, you have seen when I finish this OK and come from OK, you will see that our repair geometry is now solid. And if we will regenerate the model, the, everything is ready to use. In this video tutorial, you have seen how to understand the import data doctor and how to use the tangency and how to add the objects and close the gaps and add information to wireframe and use the repair functionality by import data doctor. Thanks for your question and model. Stay tuned and bye-bye. Vladimir.